Hey, all my friends out there. Um, I am Katie Evans with the Living 48 Real Estate Team, and I just want to welcome you to our video blog today. Thanks so much for watching. So recently, we just came back from Keller Williams' big national convention. It's called Family Reunion, so you can only imagine what kind of a party it is there. And to make it an even bigger party than normal, this year it was held in New Orleans. You gotta say it right, New Orleans. <laughs> so New Orleans, Louisiana. And we took uh, myself and my daughter, who is also the director of our client experience and works on all of our marketing and admin type things, took her with me to New Orleans and we had a ball learning about new technology, new trends, what's happening in the market, interacting with other agents, and we just thought we would share a little bit of our trip with you. So, we brought back all of these videos and photos, and we just thought we'd share some. So from the flight to New Orleans, all the way to our flights being delayed on the way home, we had a fantastic time. And of course, we went out a day early so that we could see all the sites and get all of the fun culture and New Orleans stuff in before we had to hit the ground running with our convention. And so, of course, we got to see the horse-drawn carriages. We went to Café du Monde and had beignets because it's an absolute must-do when you are in New Orleans. Um, of course, the line was long. The tables were sticky. The uh, menu was small, but it was a lot of fun to, to get to have that experience. And I'll tell you what, we loved Cafe Du Monde quite a bit. After that, we actually walked for about five miles in one day from one end of the French Quarter to the other end of the French Quarter. We enjoyed all of the sites. They are getting ready for Mardi Gras this next month. And so, of course, the decorations are already starting to go up. The parades are already starting to happen. And uh, so we brought you back just a little bit of a little flavor of that. Now, the fun thing was, of course, we found the Evans Creole Candy Factory. So, of course, we had to have a little picture there with Evans Creole Candy Factory. And we also visited another one of my favorite stores. If we can find a Harley Davidson store, I'm going to buy a T-shirt. So now you get to see the T-shirt that I brought back with me. Um, we also just, we had so much fun looking at how they decorated not only the buildings, but also the horses and the carriages. So our favorite was the purple hoof, finger painted, finger polished horse that was there. Um, we also enjoyed that evening. We ate some really, really fun food. We had catfish, but we also had alligator and um, other fun things. So anything fried tastes amazing, and it's especially good. We had so we had Bodouin balls. I believe I'm saying this right. Um, fried catch, catfish and then alligator balls as well. So that was a lot of fun to uh, to try those out. Um, again. We love all things kind of artistic and fun, and so the music down there, the jazz especially, was amazing. So we, we captured a couple of different things for you there. Uh, we had a great time on our Voodoo Bone Ladies tour uh, to see all of the haunted houses. Um, we had a really, really awesome tour guide. It was a lot of fun. He took us to some of the most haunted doors and told us some really, really fun stories about different buildings and stuff. If you want a really fun story, ask me about the haunted house um, that has been owned by several celebrities. So I'll just leave it at that and you can uh, you can ask me about that. It's been a lot of fun. Then we went at the end of our tour. I just had to throw this out here because I thought it was so funny. Our guide took us to the around the back side of the very famous Catholic church that's there and said, what do you see? Do you see a flying Jesus? Or do you see a giraffe head? And once you see it, you'll never be able to unsee it. So I ask you, what do you see? Flying Jesus or a giraffe head? And once you see it, you'll never be able to unsee it. So the next day we hit the ground running at our big national convention. We had so many wonderful experiences. For those of you who don't know, the founder of our uh, Keller Williams, one of the co-founders is Gary Keller. And of course, uh, we have nothing but love and admiration in our hearts for this co-founder of ours who is still at the helm. He just came back this year to be to come back into the CEO role because he sees things changing in the real estate industry and he wants to make sure that he is there to help guide us along. 
So we want to thank Gary Keller for all the hard work that he does for us and for all of the innovation that he's coming out with for his agents and for all of that, for the, for the company that he's founded. So one of the photos that we brought back is a picture of the WI4C2TSs. And this is really important in Keller Williams culture. This is what Keller Williams is founded on. And so if you take a quick peek at this photo, you'll see those are the things that we found all of our transactions, our deals, and just how we choose to treat people. And one of the main reasons that I love and will continue to be a part of Keller Williams. There were so many agents. The number has fluctuated all over the place, you guys. The last number I heard was like 80,000 agents. I've heard from 18,000 to 80,000, but whatever. It was more agents than I could possibly count. And so we uh, had a wonderful time there learning from Gary Keller, um, finding out what the market is all about, what it's doing over this next year. And while it's really important, and I've said many times that uh, real estate is really hyper local, we need to drill down into your neighborhood to see what's happening. It's also really important as an agent to be educated on what's going on nationally so that we can see trends. We can talk with other agents. Um, when the recession hit, it didn't hit us first. And so, you know, we could see other places where, that were starting to be affected and we could see what they were doing to combat the changes and what was happening to them and we could learn from them. And that's going to always happen. We talked about um, what was going to happen in the marketplace as far as what what's going to affect the buyers, what's going to affect the sellers. Some of our, our, our sessions were so full that we couldn't even get into the room. So we would sit outside and watch them on a big screen TV. So we looked at primary reasons why people purchase a home and, and first steps in the buying process and how we can help you through that um, and, and how that's going to affect both buyers and sellers. We had a lot of fun connecting with other agents. Um, I have a picture in here actually of one of my cousin-in-laws and myself that uh, we got to connect there in New Orleans. She is not from Arizona. So it was fun to catch up with her and talk about what's going on in her market. We met a lot of other agents from outside markets. We got to participate in a couple of parades. It was really a lot of fun. We connected with other agents from our marketplace. And so that's always great because it helps us strengthen the bonds that we have here in our office. And as we need additional coverage, we've got other agents to lean on for that. So just to close up, there's a couple of just pictures here with words maybe you may or may not understand, but I wanted to tell you a little story about the one that says onward. So Gary Keller from the beginning, whenever we would catch or hit a hiccup or have something that was a little bit of a trial, something that was hard to overcome, he would end the day or he would end the meeting or he would end whatever with the word onward. And so that's just one of the little things that we have here in our Keller Williams offices is that whenever there's a problem, a challenge, we're not going to stop. We're not going to let it kill us or, or ruin our, our deal or ruin our, any, our, anything that we're doing. We're just going to close that session out and we're going to say onward. So onward, everyone, we are going to move forward and, and we're going to get the next thing. I obviously love Keller Williams. So here it is, a little photo that says, I love KW. My darling daughter bought me a t-shirt that you'll see that says, I love KW. And I do love KW. I love KW for all of the things that it offers, not only me as an agent and my team, but I love how they fight for our industry. I love how they fight for our clients. I love how they fight for, for the best of what real estate has to offer. So I love Keller Williams. And because of that, I am with Gary. I may not have the mustache, but I am with Gary and uh, will continue to be so. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of New Orleans and what we had to, what we got to experience and, and what we saw and, and now the knowledge expertise that we continue to bring home for you. So this is just one of those times where we were out sharpening our saw so that we can be the best agent and the best team for you here at Living 48 Real Estate Team at Keller Williams Realty East Valley. As always, I appreciate you guys watching this, enjoying it. If you have any questions on what's going on in the real estate industry and how I can help you with your real estate goals and dreams, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. They always put my little phone number and address below, so uh, make sure you catch that. Visit our website at www.living48re.com and I'm excited to bring you some new technological advances that are coming out a little bit later in the year through Keller Williams that are going to change the shape of real estate and they're going to change the way you as the client get to experience real estate through your phone, 
through our websites, through everything. So I'm looking forward to really getting into that this year with you guys and teaching you about it. So as always, let me know how I can help. I'm here to be a resource for you. Have a wonderful day and thank you again for watching this video. We'll see you in our next video.